college rodeos. And you need to enjoy it, and the friends you make, you'll still be friends with in 20, 30 years. That's the thing about rodeo. I mean, the friends you make when you rodeo, you keep for probably a lifetime. There was great cowboys before me, and there's been a lot of really great ones after me. It's just the way of life. It's just my life. look at it as, as pressure, but you know, uh, I guess if that if that's how you interpret it, you probably aren't going to last too long. Uh, you know, I love what I do and I love to compete. And so um, I just can't wait to nod my head or to tie a goat, you know, and that's how I always looked at it. I was surrounded by good people. So, you know, when I was here, like I said, Bob Doty was a coach for the first few years and Raymond Hollenbaugh, he'd been to the finals how many times? And, you know, if you wanted help, he'd help you, you know, and not to mention the, you know, other people in Texas around this area that can help and so and then it makes all the difference in the world. I have an unreal support system and I um, maybe I take this for granted but I just assume anybody that has won a lot does too and so uh, my folks were unbelievably supported when I was younger. Um, you know if you worked hard and you tried hard they gave you any and every opportunity. They didn't do the work for you you know and they didn't just haul us to haul us but if we worked hard they would take us and give us opportunities to succeed. Like I said, I love competing, and I, I just I loved rodeoing, and so it was it was great to throw on my my purple vest and go compete and go win for them. You know, I I looked at it as um, you know almost a business deal that they they helped pay for my education, so I I had to win for them, and um, I, I just I understood that deal and I liked it, and um, you know it was some of the best four years of my life. It means everything. I love Tarleton. Sue Majors holds a special place in Tarleton rodeo history. A barrel racer and trailblazer who has paved the way for countless Tarleton rodeo athletes for the past six decades, Sue was an integral member of the first women's team from Tarleton that ever qualified for the NIRA finals in 1966. It was at Vermilion, South Dakota. It was important to me to be a part of that group. While she certainly has had an impact on the legacy of Tarleton Rodeo, her time at Tarleton impacted her equally as much. Rodeo taught Sue the value of hard work and dedication. Something I learned from Rodeo was just try your best every time you go out there. I tried my best at everything. I like school, what's important to me. Whatever I did, I wanted to do it good. Her determination paid off with a bachelor's and master's degree, as well as careers as a teacher and 40 years in finance, starting as a cashier, to eventually the executive vice president of Comanche National Bank. To be in the Charlton Rodeo of Fame, it makes me feel like I done something and I'm just so proud to be there. Just like Boyd said, 78 years of veteran Badlands Bay is a good one and you do it all. You are getting the chance to see why he was a million dollar man. Look at his feet, stand with the horse all the way around the left. Man, I like what we've just seen, boy. humbling to think that like when you start in this business or you, you know when you're in high school and you want to go ride bucking horses you're not thinking man I can't wait to be in the Tarleton Rodeo Hall of Fame I can't wait to win a world title like those are all things that sure could happen but they don't cross your mind you know on the daily it's always one one horse at a time or get to the next town or um, how do I get this assignment turned in and get to the college rodeo this weekend my senior year of high school with being fresh into the bareback riding and um, had a really good last year of high school rodeo and, and knew I wanted to keep keep going with it and, and pursue a college career. 
and um, had a few offers had met with a few coaches and Tarleton was obviously one of the, the schools on the list and I went up there for a visit and, and met Mark and um, showed him some videos and uh, I just had a, a really good feeling uh, about the school about the team um, that was kind of a, a no-brainer for me is like immediately felt like I was home all the way to the league, he's having so much fun that he waves at the audience. Had to be 78, how about 83 points, 83. And there's really Bob Brown, his teammate from Carlton, giving him a high five. He is pumped up. I would not be where I'm at without the time I spent, you know, on, on that team. And just the, the camaraderie, you know, amongst the team and to have Mark as our coach, you know, was a huge blessing and, and he always pushed pushed me to, you know, go outside my limits and he wanted me to do well for the team, but he also wanted me to do well for me um, and, and go pursue, you know, professional rodeo and he, we always found a way to make it work. I can't think of another place where I could have got on that many horses and spent that much time on the spur board and surrounded myself by that many like-minded individuals that wanted to succeed anywhere else um, and that's something that you know I tell anybody getting started is if you can go if you have the opportunity to go college rodeo you'll never regret it you can't put a price on on the experience you're gonna get college rodeoing really humbling to have made a commitment to a team and to have seen it through and for other people to see that you've carried on past that point and done a good enough job to where they want to recognize you for, for that work and it's nothing I saw coming and it's really, really special. I told you right before you took your cadet oaths that you fail or succeed as a class. Since then, I have watched you take that charge to heart each and every day. What we recognize here today are the accomplishments of your class, your drive, your effort, and your no quit attitude in getting to this point. Not only have you reached brass with a team, but a family as well. Duck class of 2025, job well done. The brass that you will receive today represents the trust that others have in you and in our Corps. This brass means that others can count on you to carry a heavier load than ordinary people. You are not ordinary. You are extraordinary. By receiving your brass here today, you are committing to continuing to earn your brass and to continue to be worthy of the trust placed in that brass and in this core. Let your brass and your actions exemplify integrity and leadership every single day. Unparalleled leaders, Principus Unisci, lead the way.
Since 224th commencement. We are delighted you are here to honor the academic accomplishments of today's graduates from the Colleges of Education and Human Development, Liberal and Fine Arts, and Science and Technology. Damas y caballeros, bienvenidos a la ducentésimo vigésimo cuarta ceremonia de graduación de Tarleton. 
Nos complace su presencia para honrar los logros académicos de los graduandos de hoy de las Facultades de Educación y Desarrollo Humano, Artes Liberales y Bellas Artes y Ciencias y Tecnología. I am Janice Horak, Executive Deve Director of Development, University Arts and Culture. Soy la doctora Evelise Urban, profesora de español y subdirectora del Departamento de Inglés y Lenguas. The procession is about to begin, so now would be a good time to silence your audible devices. La procesión está a punto de comenzar, por lo que ahora es un buen momento para silenciar sus dispositivos audibles. President James L. Hurley will lead university officials onto the platform while our student marshals escort the class of 2021 and the faculty marshals escort our distinguished faculty into the stadium. El presidente James L. Hurley dirigirá a los oficiales de la universidad a la plataforma mientras los estudiantes guías escoltan a la clase del 2021 y los profesores guías a nuestros distinguidos profesores al estadio. Los profesores guías son... The marshals are Dr. Melissa Becker, Dr. Eileen Falkenberry, Dr. Carly Gowen, Dr. Arthur Lowe, Ms. Amy McKay, Dr. Rebecca Morrow, Dr. Chris Sloan, Dr. Keisha Russell. At the conclusion of the ceremony, the platform group and the graduates will be led out of the stadium. Please remain in your seats until all graduates have left. Al concluir la ceremonia, el grupo de la plataforma y los graduandos saldrán del estadio. Favor de permanecer en sus asientos hasta que todos los graduandos hayan salido. At that time, you will be dismissed to join your graduate along Rudder Way, which is loca located east of Memorial Stadium. Please adhere to social distancing guidelines throughout the ceremony and at dismissal. En ese momento, podrán abandonar el estadio para encontrarse con sus graduandos a lo largo de Rudder Way, que se encuentra al este del Estadio Memorial. Les pedimos que cumplan con las directrices de distanciamiento social durante toda la ceremonia y al momento de la salida. And now, the group of people you have come here to honor, the Tarleton State University class of 2021. Y ahora, el grupo de personas que han venido a honrar la clase del 2021 de la Universidad Estatal de Tarleton. The procession will be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble under the direction of Dr. David Robinson. El conjunto de viento de Tarleton bajo la dirección del Dr. David Robinson acompañará la procesión. A los que les sea posible, favor de ponerse de pie para recibir a la procesión. Please, all who are able, rise to greet the procession.
Good afternoon, Texans. That wasn't bad, but this is the most special day in the life of a university. And for each of these graduates, let's try this again. Good afternoon, Texans. I'm Dr. James Hurley, and I have the distinct pleasure of serving as president of this outstanding university. Welcome to the 224th commencement of Tarleton State University. This is a magnificent day for our institution as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni. To officially open this ceremony, the national anthem will be sung by your fellow classmate, Miss Jana Perkins, a music major who is graduating with you today. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Mr. Walker Kirk, our student body president. Gentlemen, please remove your caps and I ask all who are able, please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem and the invocation. Let us pray. Today, while we have traveled all different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these and for all they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that is past and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Laura Helvey Mason, Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs. At this time, I would like to recognize the members of the platform group. Would they please stand when introduced, and will you please hold your applause until... Dr. James Hurley, President. Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. Dr. Creedence Baker, Dean, College of Graduate Studies. Dr. Kim Reinierson, Dean, College of Education and Human Development. Dr. Eric Morrow, Dean, College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Michael Huggins, Dean, College of Science and Technology. Drs. Lamar and Marilyn Johansson, Ceremony Honorees. Mr. Walker Kirk, Student Body President. Ms. Daisy Fuentes, Commencement Speaker. Ms. Jana Perkins, Commencement Singer. Please join me in recognizing all of these outstanding leaders.
Finally, I would like to introduce Dr. David Robinson, Director of Bands and the members of the Tarleton Wind Ensemble, and thank them for their contributions for today's ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Helvey Mason. Graduates, I want to start by expressing how proud I am and collectively we all are of each of you. I know the last year and a half have not been easy. Reflection is an important component of growth, so let's take a moment to reflect back. You've certainly had a memorable, memorable educational experience, to say the least. There is no doubt you will remember navigating a once-in-a-lifetime, once-in-a-century global pandemic, causing major disruption to our normal way of learning and living. However, trust me when I tell you that those unfond memories this pandemic has created will quickly fade over time. Instead, you will remember all of the wonderful memories that you made here at Tarleton and why those times were so special. Like your first campus visit, duck camp, tea week, and lighting your flame at convocation. You will remember, remember that incredible faculty member who pushed you to your academic limits only because they saw the true potential inside you. You will remember being part of the largest and most diverse student body in the history of Tarleton. You will remember being part of the very first NCAA Division I student body during our inaugural season of play last spring. And yes, the first spring homecoming in the history of, of our university. You will remember the poo sightings, midnight s'mores at the Trogdon House, the state's largest bonfire, yell contest, beating of the drum, purple pancakes, and late night study sessions that always resulted in a midnight run to Whataburger. You will remember that Thursdays are best when dressed in purple. And the friends you have made here at Tarleton will be your best friends throughout your life. Graduates, I am confident that you are prepared to turn challenges into opportunities, maybes into realities, and possibilities into certainties. I'm also confident that our world needs more Tarleton Texans now more than ever. Many of you will soon depart the gates of Tarleton and embark upon your own personal and professional endeavors. Whatever might lie ahead for each of you, simply trust and know that you are well prepared. You are a Tarleton Texan and now join the long line of distinguished alumni that will stand with you through it all. However, no one gets to this day alone. Many of the people who helped make this day possible for you are here celebrating your great accomplishment. Class of 2021, I think it's time to show your appreciation for certain members of this audience. I want to start with our outstanding and dedicated faculty and staff. Would all faculty and staff please stand Graduates, would you please join me in showing our appreciation for their collected efforts. Now let's recognize some very special people that have been by your side along your Tarleton journey. If you are a brother or sister or one of one of our graduates, would you please stand? So if you are a brother or sister, stand and let us say thank you. If you are a spouse or partner of one of our graduates, would you please stand? One husband has both feet and both air, hands in the air. That's pretty impressive. He's proud, we're proud. If you are a child or grandchild, meaning your mommy, daddy, or grandparent is graduating, would you please stand or be held high in the air? Thank you for sharing mommy and daddy with us. If you are a parent, that means all of our moms and dads, would you please stand? <clears throat> Thank you, mom and dad. 
Dad, you, you will still have to send money. That's just the way it works. As a dad of four, I get that. And last, but certainly not least, graduates, I want you to turn and I want you to find this next group of people and watch the smiles on their face. Would all of our proud grandparents, grandma, grandpa, would you please stand and allow us to say thank you. You see that, graduates? They love you because they love you. Parents have to love you. Grandparents, they love us because they love us. As was explained before the processional, some graduates are wearing colorful cords that represent high achievement and academic honors. Some graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords representing achievement and honor of a different sort. They are our veterans who we recognize today for their service to our great nation. It is their selfless sacrifice and that of their families that allows us to freely pursue life, liberty, love, happiness, and a Tarleton education. I would like to ask that all veterans and active or reserve duty personnel in this graduating class, would you please rise? Thank you for your service. Thank you for your selfless service. And thank you for making this the greatest nation in the world. Well, that makes it a unique day, right? Graduates, this is your day. It is you we are here to celebrate. For this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the commencement audience. Daisy Estrella Fuentes Trejo is a native of Hidalgo, Mexico. 18 years ago, her family moved to the United States, seeking a better way of life. After arriving in the US, Daisy watched her mom and older brothers who worked hard to provide a home and education for her and her sister. Once enrolled in school, Daisy learned English and discovered a love for reading books. She loved books so much, she carried one everywhere she went. It was then that Daisy knew she wanted to share her love of reading. She wanted to share this with others as she grew up, so she took on any volunteer opportunities she could get in order to work with younger students. Driven by the idea of going to college to pursue a degree in education, she applied for scholarships. After acquiring many volunteer hours, Daisy received the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Youth Award Bronze Medal and a scholarship to attend college of her choice. She was also a youth awardee of the 2018 Texas Youth Tour and traveled to Washington, D.C. with more than 100 Texan students. In 2018, she graduated top 10% from Hillsborough High School. She attended Tarleton in the fall of 2018, where she became involved in Sigma Phi Lambda and Tarleton Professional Educators. Due to her high academic standings, Daisy was inducted as a member of Kappa Delta Pi, Alpha Chi, and the National Honor Society of Leadership and Success. Following graduation, Daisy has accepted a first grade bilingual position at Hillsboro Elementary School, and she's happy to give back to her community. Please give a warm welcome to today's commencement speaker, Daisy Estrella Fuentes Trejo. Thank you. Good afternoon, President Hurley, Provost Murray, graduates, family, and friends. It is an honor to stand before you as a first generation DACA student representing the College of Education and Human Development, the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, and the College of Science and Technology. It seems like it was just yesterday when we moved into our dorms and said our goodbyes to our families when we blew out our candles at convocation as we were welcomed into the Tarleton family. That day marked the beginning of a new chapter. 
We each have our own story about the path we took to reach this moment. Though my journey is different from yours, we all have someone who inspired us to pursue a college education. For me, that person has been my mom. Two decades ago, my mom, my brothers, my sister, and I left our home in Mexico to move to the United States, seeking better educational opportunities and a better way of life. We arrived in the U.S. not knowing any English or with a place to stay. As a young girl, I remember moving from home to home between my aunts and uncles until we had a stable place to live. Throughout those years, I watched my mom sacrifice herself to pull us through the hardest time of our lives. And I watched my oldest brother take on the role of being a father figure for my sister and I. What I love most about my mom is that she never gave up. Instead, she prayed. My mom is my rock. She taught me that through faith and dedication, anything is possible. In 2016, my sister walked the stage at Midwestern State University with her bachelor's. And today, I am walking the stage at Tarleton. This degree is not just for me. It is for my family. Familia, esto es para ustedes. Just like my mom, we all must make sacrifices to build a better future. Graduates, think about the sacrifices you've had to make to get this degree. For students with jobs, it was difficult to find time between work and class to do homework and study. We may have pulled an all-nighter or two to work on class projects. We spent long hours at the library working on homework with friends that could hold us accountable. And we've had to spend time away from our families. Think about all the stress we were under all the grades, all the classroom experiences, the early 8 a.m.s you wish you hadn't registered for, all the relationships and all the effort. It is all paying off at this moment. And just when we thought college couldn't get any harder, the world shut down due to a pandemic. However, even when the world shut down, I watched as my classmates worked together to complete group projects, and held each other accountable to make it one day at a time. And we did it. Here we are on our graduation day, but it doesn't stop here. I'd like to take a moment to thank all the faculty and staff at Tarleton for helping us make this day possible. Family, friends, and loved ones here today, thank you for all your sacrifices and support along the way. Without you, this day wouldn't be possible. Finally, I'd like to thank God for giving me the strength when I felt weak and giving me my home away from home, Tarleton. Graduates, it has been an honor to speak to you at today's commencement ceremony. We did it! And as I tell my first graders, pat yourself on the back. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy, for those incredible remarks, and you have represented your class very well. Provost Murray, would you please come forward for a very special presentation? This commencement is enriched by the presentation of two honorary degrees. Such an honor is awarded only to individuals whose accomplishments and service exemplify our mission and stand as examples of our aspirations for these graduates. An honorary degree recognizes excellence as recipients have distinguished themselves in their fields of endeavor and in life. Candidates for an honorary degree must be recommended by the president and approved by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University system. 
Mr. President, it is my honor to present Drs. Lamar and Marilyn Johansson for the honorary degree, Doctor of Humane Letters. Dr. Lamar and Marilyn T. Johansson have put their heart and soul into public education for more than six decades. Dr. Johansson's 40 years at Tarleton State University started in 1962 as an instructor in the Department of Biological Sciences. That same year, Mrs. Johansson was hired to teach home economics at high school in Heiko. Dr. Johansson served 18 years as Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences and was the inaugural Executive Director of Tarleton University Systems Center, Central Texas in Colleen, before he retired in 2001. Dr. Johansson spearheaded efforts to establish associate and baccalaureate degree programs in nursing and medical laboratory sciences, one in the core of downtown Fort Worth Medical District. He advocated for constructing and helped design Tarleton Science Building, which now bears his name. In addition to teaching in HICO, Mrs. Johansson's career included a stint at Stephenville High School. A distinguished Tarleton alumni in 2015, she served as an education specialist with the Texas Education Agency, as an elementary school and high school principal in the Strawn and Gulf White School Districts. She retired in 1995 with more than three decades of service to Texas public schools. The Johansons continue their association with Tarleton while attending and volunteering at athletic events and academic events. Both received the All Purple Award, recognizing those who go above and beyond in supporting Tarleton athletics. Dr. Johansson has been on the Texan Club Board of Directors since its inception in 1994 and continues to chair the Tarleton Athletics Hall of Fame nominating committee. Together, the couple have worked with the university to establish the Timberlake Biological Field Station, which covers about 800 acres in Mills County, advancing environmental research, engaging students in scientific discovery, and promoting stewardship of the natural world. Most recently, they created the Timberlake Biological Field Station Research Support Endowment and the Lamar and Marilyn T. Johansson Biological Sciences Scholarship. In 2012, the Johansons conveyed their ranch of approximately 1,700 acres with all mineral rights for benefit of Tarleton State University. Through these efforts, their sustained impact on education will continue for decades to come. President Hurley will present the academic hood, medallion, and diploma to today's honorees. Dr. Huggins and Baker, will you please bring the recipients forward? By the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University, and in recognition of their extraordinary achievements, I proudly confer upon Drs. Lamar and Marilyn Johansson the honorary degree Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations.
And now, graduates, we're to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. Will all the candidates for degrees please rise? President Hurley, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate, master's, and doctoral degrees in the College of Education and Human Development, the College of Liberal and Fine Arts, and the College of Science and Technology, as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Thank you, Provost Murray. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University, I proudly confer the bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees upon those of you who have met all re requirements associated with these degrees. You now hold all honors, rights, and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you as educated men and women of the world to use your education in the service of others. Graduates, you may be seated. Student marshals, would you please bring the graduates forward to receive their diplomas? The following students are candidates for the doctoral degree in the College of Education and Human Development. Dr. Mary Amanda Musselwhite. Does leadership matter? Assessing the complex leadership behaviors of campus principals. Dr. Don Beach. Just the card. Dr. Elizabeth Marie Cunningham, The Relationships Among Student Self-Efficacy, Teacher Actions, and Academic Growth. Dr. Ryan Glamen. Hello. Dr. Jessica Miranda Cervantes, Common Core State Standards versus Non-Common Core State Standards, The Impact of Curriculum and Standards as Measured by College Readiness and the Prediction of Future Students' Academic Success. Dr. Juanita Reyes. Dr. Amber Nicole Chrissy, An Analysis of the Relationship Between Student Characteristics and Star Reading Performance in Grades 3 through 5 Prior to the Implementation of House Bill 3 Reading Acad academies. Dr. Juanita Reyes. Dr. Nancy Dominguez. The relationship of the college assistance migrant program housing accommodations on migrant students final GPA and degree attainment. Dr. Juanita Reyes. Dr. Michael Anthony Kelly Jr. The relationship between average daily attendance per pupil state funding and third grade reading assessment scores, academic growth scores, and district accountability ratings in Texas 2A school districts. Dr. Russ Hyam, major professor. Dr. Carla Sue Donaldson, Perceived Characteristics of Successful Directors for Texas University Interscholastic League One Act Play. Dr. Dana Beatty, Major Professor. Dr. 
Dr. Christine T. Holacek, Practical Implications of P-16, P-20 Councils of Increasing Academic College and Career Readiness of Graduating High School Seniors in the State of Texas. Dr. Russ Hyam, Major Professor. Dr. Michelle Marie Cohenauer, identifying factors that support and hinder Pell Grant students at a Texas private university utilizing Schlossberg's transition theory framework. Dr. Russ Hyam, Major Professor. Dr. Londa Gale Carivo, an equity analysis of a Central Texas Community College dual credit program. Dr. Russ Hyam, Major Professor. The following students are candidates for the master's degree in the College of Education and Human Development. Hector Jesus Ronhel. Andrea Marie Anderson. Amitha Roy Thottom. Lindsay Raven Montgomery. Sean Rene Vervillo. Kimberly K. Boop. Cassie Annalisa Harmon. Bailey Alexandria Mary Chanel. Sydney Elizabeth Shippey. Michaela Beth Bierman. Tori Destiny Hubbard. Claudia Jeanette Myers. Logan Eric Galloway. Micah K. Root. Paul Stewart Norris. Christopher A. Brownstead. William Andrew Haynes. Madison Steger. Holly Lee Haley. Paula Jean, also known as Miss Birdie Kazi. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> Natina Mariah Wilkerson. Congratulations. Hillary Angel Ballard. Kaylin Michonne Thomas. Amanda Gail Russ. Faith Elizabeth Marushek. Travis Walter Colborn. Alicia Dawn Hobson. Peyton Martin. Victoria Sky Fitka. Ashley Hope Shelton. Grant Taylor Gossett. Amy Elizabeth Riera. Natalie Page Walker. Darius Hamilton Graham. Jenna Lee McSherry. 
Renee Marcel Wallace, Exploration of the Olfactory System and Automatic Memory Encoding. Dr. Heather Labansett, Major Professor. Jasmine Dominique McWhorter. Eric Trayvon Daniels. Ty H. Hill. Aaron Reinhardt. Jacob Robert Tyler Spence. Erica Michelle Graham. Shelby Brooke Holloway. DeLorean Cartier Hurd. Devin Ray Hefford. Edgar Gerardo Jimenez, the role of cognitive diversity in brain writing on creativity. Dr. Jonalee Brua, major professor. Brenda Medina. Angelica Hernandez. Dana Beth Noel. Claire Elizabeth Cook. Shatavia Monique Wafer. Adriana Lucia Rousseau. Eric Anthony Mendez. Lynette Danielle Dempsey. Charity Jeanette Williams. Elizabeth Lee Watson. Laura Orelinda Mendoza. Amber Nicole Arcario. The following students are candidates for the master's degree in the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Megan Nicole Person. Joshua Aaron Hauser. Jeffrey Alexander Martinez. Adrian Christopher Gonzalez. Alexis Malvo. Terry Bassinger Armstrong. Caitlin Marie Grant. Ricky Rickon Robinson. Cynthia Marie Arias. Katie Lynn Drummerino. Megan Ann Tucker. Erica N. McComas. Jared Allen Goldsmith. Stephanie Rita Cardenas. Thank you. Larry Eugene McCon. Leslie Marie Middleton Edmondson. Samuel Jura Varner. Shelby Nicole Richardson. Locke Tan Doe. Thomas K. Hover. Jessica Ann Pounds. Samantha Jean Linton. The following students are candidates for the master's degree in the College of Science and Technology. Virgilio Jose Carnero Leon. Kyle B. Fawn. 
Charles Carr. Nicholas Patella. Jenica Ann McGill. The following students are candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Bertha O. Vindell. Tara K. Barnes, fourth generation Tarleton student. Bibiana Martinez. Amaya Michelle Claiborne. Christopher James Borja. Honors degree program graduate Miguel Vasquez. Christian Maris. Tristan James Hobson. Robert Christian Schaefer. Devon Amino Roscoe. Lindsey Jean Terman. Blaine Kenneth Beeler. Kyle Andrew Ware. Matthew Eduardo Espinosa, cum laude. Honors degree program graduate, Yaselin Nava, cum laude. Zachary Allen Cornelius. Chris Diedrich Tiedemann, Jr. Jana Nicole Perkins. Jonathan Lamar Hoxie. Marinas Mercado Ortiz. Michael Joyle Cote the third, the second. Sorry, gave him too many numbers. Lane Nathaniel Trojanowski. Jacqueline Villa. Morgan K. Walther. Adon J. Sanchez. Honors degree program graduate Chandler Columns, cum laude. Caitlin Danielle Gurky. Wesley James Trato. Valentin Esquivel. Whitney Ga Gabrielle Golden, magna cum laude. Dylan Ty Sharp. Cole Elliot Simmerhansel. James Paul Haas. Casey Brooke Hobbs. Cody Mitchell Vanoy, cum laude. Nakia Joshua. Mitch Patino. Bryson Craig Kiker. Abigail Kayla Nichols, cum laude. Francisco Javier Moreno. Battelle Leander Hawkins II. Brian Allen Martin. Kenyatta Shamise Ryder. Thomas Pritchett II. Daisha Gamble. Joe Ann Lund. 
Aisha Amorcia Murray Reeves. <laughs> Honors degree program graduate, Melinda Janelle McAdam. James Daniel Davenport II. Matthew Stephen Acevedo. Narciso Molina, cum laude. Kyle Nathaniel Lane. Andres Uyoya, Jr. Nic Nicholas Matthew Johanningmeyer. Ricardo Solis. John Keith Duffield. Alexa Ray Villa. Rachel Denise Skyby. Abigail Ruth Horsley. Laura Elena Parra. Nicholas D. Williams. Honors degree program graduate, Elliot Thomas Sherrell. Cheryl, summa cum laude. Bryce Cody Humphreys, cum laude. Shaden Dale Sims. Victoria Nicole Guadian. Destiny Megan Cortez. Jeremy Luke Blanks. Aubrey James Wall. Abigail Lynn Mitchell. Zachary Alden Waterman. Honors degree program graduate, Rainy Danielle Johnson, magna cum laude. Honors degree program graduate, Dawson Elliott Reyes, cum laude. Sarah Nicole Blackman. Franks James Brown III, magna cum laude. Cedric D. Jesse. Imelda Dionisio. Shaloi Tyan Love Battles. Austin Odell Wiles, magna cum laude. Madison Savannah Sage Alexander. Presidential Honors Program graduate, Ali Bryn Johnson, magna cum laude. Presidential Honors Program graduate, Hannah Lee Wilson, magna cum laude. Honors Degree Program graduate, Emily Ann Kaler, magna cum laude. Jonathan Daniel Mendoza. Cassidy Ann Head. John Kyler Dick. Kaylee Brianne Bentley. Megan Olivia Merkin. Aaron Clayton. Fisher Grayson Pierce. Amber Nicole Huff. Kesley Jean Boone. Seth Lewis Rosbrug. Forrest Christian Wiley, magna cum laude. Nancy Michelle Ochoa, cum laude. Shay Allen Andrews. Narda Iris Roman Delgado. 
Mackenzie Page Campbell. Erica Munoz. Kaylee Marie, six killer. Megan Lynn Sears, magna cum laude. Shannon Doris Govan. Helen Michelle Allison. Madison Gail Levy. Jamila Arnett Martinez. Carly Rael Russell. Gabriel Antonio Escoto. <laughs> Honors degree program graduate, Riley Malin Fisher, magna cum laude. Sabrina Renee Tovar. Manuel Murillo Jr. Samantha Marie Pippin. Chastity Elizabeth Benet. Matiula Ghani, cum laude. Sarah Lauren Nolting, magna cum laude. Doyle Ethan Johnson. Honors degree program graduate, Jacelyn Taylor Thompson, cum laude. Oh. Ileana Guadalupe Palacio Sanchez. Marta Graciela Vinegas. Barbarita Ortega. Juan Daniel Lopez. Faith Nicole Burnett. Marlena Denise Flores. Deborah J. DeMar. Matt Derek Wiley, cum laude. Brendan Glenn Tomlinson, summa cum laude. Abigail Denise Sparsas. Stephanie Marie Reyna. Jordan Anglin. Shelby Lee Brownson. Chance Michael Charpentier. Corey Hawkins Ephraim. Hannah Leanne Amieva, cum laude. Christopher Terry. Andrew Reed Gilbert. Ty Allen Hudgens. Selena Marie Mendoza. Chance Lee Kirkpatrick. Honors degree program graduate, Danielle Sponberg, cum laude. Roman Todd Chester. Robert Hodges, magna cum laude. Joseph Wayne Maynor, summa cum laude. Jacob Patrick Humphreys. Morgan Morris. Robert George Ward. Melanie Ray Aguirre. Charlicia Gale Davis. Alejandro Moreno. Andrea Michelle Araby. 
Karema Signs. Honors Degree Program Graduate, Fatima Ponce. Derek DeMond Harris. The following students are candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Education and Human Development. Erin Alexandra Coffey. Emma Ashby Thompson. Daisy Estrella Fuentes Trejo, summa cum laude. Ashlyn Jordan Duderstadt. Marky Jace Kincaid, magna cum laude. Alicia Marie Ayala. Brian Anthony Coker. Oscar Alexandro Malherbe. Kennedy Page Allen. Jessica Marie Retchless. Honors Degree Program Graduate, Katherine Cook. Akila Jones. Lindsay Michelle King, cum laude. Sophia Alsup. Cameron Renee Bevins. Sarah Michelle Tracy. McKaylee Steele. Danette Laura. Hannah Renee Laskowski, cum laude. Kyle Jeffrey Day. Jaylee Smith. Shakaria Shanae Evans. Caitlin Nicole Babcock. Haley Ray Foreman. Kirsty Lynn Smith. Joseph Kyler Mercer. Tierra Tajay Parker. Brittany Nicole Washington. Christian Todd Hoffman. Honors Degree Program Graduate, Edward Cozart. Cassidy McKenzie Olivo. Libby Eloise Winchell, magna cum laude. Emma Dean Bozarth, magna cum laude. Jessica Brinson. Shelby Taylor Harper. Vernon Tubbs, Jr. Honors Degree Program graduate, Caitlin Renee Burris, summa cum laude. Madison Shea Reynolds. Caitlin Charlotte Lofton. Mackenzie Nicole Creamer, magna cum laude. Kathleen Cassidy Shields. Honors Degree Program graduate, Lauren Brooke Crawford. Ashley Rose Chavez. Joe Wesley Alexander. Krista May Alexander, cum laude. Marissa Bell Garza, cum laude. Talon Roland Berg. Callie Nicole Smith. Julia Alexis Flores. Ryan Morgan Jennings. 
Monique Alexandria Gallagher. Valerie Nicole Alvarez. Honors degree program graduate, Jordan Brienne Yarborough, cum laude. Lauren Uttinger. Victoria Carol Shaw. Jack Travis Johnson. Louis Placencia. Kiera Simone Hawkins. Philip Andrick Jonigan. Honors degree program graduate, Alexis Deanne Thrash, cum laude. Kalili Ala Warren. Miranda Gage Pruitt, magna cum laude. Megan Evelyn Segre. Michaela Marie Owen, magna cum laude. Levi Melton Hodges, magna cum laude. Eric Drenell Lee, summa cum laude. Lindsay Justine Mills. Emily Skye Johnson. Kristen Lee Spring. Alyssa Page Popkiss, summa cum laude. Jaden Page Craig, summa cum laude. Paige Allen. Nicole Cameron St. Amour, cum laude. Congratulations. Bailey DeRock. Lauren Kendall Scott, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ray Hart, cum laude. Margaret Jane Denning. Megan Shea O'Banion, summa cum laude. Dante Christopher Halting. Blair Elizabeth Pearson. Claudia Mendoza. Caitlin Brooke Gatlin. Honors degree program graduate, Kennedy Lynn Vucine. Matthew Wayne Fraley, summa cum laude. Madeline Jean Lloyd, magna cum laude. Jose Antonio Garcia. Jacob Hunter Crouch. Lane Pinkston. Sarah Jolyn Baker. Emily Catherine King. Jordan Marie Guzzoni, cum laude. Kaylin Burrow. Lauren Pennington. Blair K. Hampton Landis, magna cum laude. Deja Cole Clark. Gabrielle Lynn Funky. Martin Ruvalcaba. Alejandra Vite. Courtney Marie Whitehead Ward. Ashley May Bird. Valerie Childs Reed, cum laude. Max Ethan Holly. Honors degree program graduate, Haley K. McLean. 
Sandra Nava. Edward Andres Cardenas. Honors degree program graduate, Gabrielle May Legru, magna cum laude. Katie Isabella Ford. Jessica Nicole Smith. JC Grace Morton, magna cum laude. Presidential Honors Program graduate, Cameron Brooke Jordan, summa cum laude. Emily Marie Garner. Hannah Brooke Owens. Honors Degree Program graduate, Micah Wayne Welburn, cum laude. Brady R. Kemp. Cheyenne Ray Norris. Keely Noel Hatcher. Honors Degree Program graduate, Shaley Denise Dowd Brooks, magna cum laude. Janae Elizabeth Pierce. Ana Lucia Hernandez, magna cum laude. Cassidy Lee, Cassidy Lee Buller. Peyton Cole Rathke. J.D. Eaton Bennett. Kendall Peyton York. Naomi Perez. Renee Moreno Estrada. Sydney Marie Martin. Karina Campos. Asia Coleman. Serena Rose Pontillo. Jackson Morin. Heidi Anai Benitez. Honors degree program graduate, Kayla Daniels, cum laude. Connor William Rhodes. Jake Charles Jones. Jonathan Cody Jones. Kristen Jesayan. Juana M. Ruiz. Edward Benda. Laura Elizabeth Cox Hillman. Gregory Phillips. Jocelyn Moss. Honors Degree Program graduate, Mari Marianea Yano, cum laude. Yahaira Vega. Iris Vianney Cardoso. Honors Degree Program graduate, Stephanie Gonzalez. Roxanne Swartz. Jacob Ryan Brown. Esteban Loyola. Macy Jo Tongate Clark. Dominique Michelle Flores. Sophia Marie Chatfield. Titus Lamar Sullivan. Shauna Alexandria Josephs. Gabriel Cole Dell. Honors Degree Program graduate, Jaden Oslis Burdick, cum laude. Honors Degree Program graduate, Amanda Moreno Vasquez.
Honors Degree Program graduate, Stephanie Cano Nares, cum laude. Honors Degree Program graduate, Morgan Taylor Piles, cum laude. Honors Degree Program graduate, Haley Nicole Akers. Chaney Renee McElroy. Honors Degree Program graduate, Rebecca Taylor Grimm. Honors Degree Program graduate, Nicole Dawn Hernandez. Honors Degree Program graduate, Luz Ramirez, cum laude. Shelby Ann Shelton. Jacob Todd Walpole. Johnny K. Wilkinson. Bailey McKenzie Allen. Georgia Ray White, cum laude. Honors Degree Program graduate, Cheyenne Elaine Stroop. Charles Edward Johnson. Jacarius Tykel Johnson. Darian Holmes. Chloe Ana Maria Brown, magna cum laude. Frank Keandre Taylor. Reese Ryan Lunsford. Casey Maloka. Joshua David Powers, cum laude. Brianna Nicole Blue, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Benson. Kayla Nicole Hollebeck. Skylar Danielle Vaughn. Bailey Nicole Marks. Bailey Elizabeth Clement. Ulisa Madera. Joanna Herrera. Lisa Annette Ashcraft. Natalia Chatham. Lakai D. Robinson. The following students are candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Science and Technology. Mason By Byron Willis. Chad Andrew Wetland. Honors degree program graduate, Carlos Adolfo Canales Rocha. Nicole Elizabeth Armitage, magna cum laude. Honors degree program graduate, Dylan Michael Pruitt, magna cum laude. Keith Austin Clark. Alice Virginia Carey. J Jacob David Mag, magna cum laude. Sierra Deanne Akins. Austin Nicholas Delaverne, cum laude. William Clegg Wright. Denzel Akeem Gore, cum laude. Joel Anthony Vasquez, cum laude. Honors degree program graduate, Grant Alexander Nichols. Renata Claire Van Geem, cum laude. Honors degree program graduate, Jacqueline Joy Brewer, magna cum laude. Presidential Honors Program graduate, Sharon Chirian, summa cum laude. Julia Lynn Gaston. Curtis Cody Bolton. Vista Ray Elizabeth Fullingham. Casey
Lucy Stephen Luttrell. Brayden McMichael Fontenot. William Michael Hendricks. Elizabeth Suzanne Witten. Honors degree program graduate, Ashley Jordan Suris. Honors degree program graduate, Sydney Jordan New. Kaylee Grace Terrell, summa cum laude. Jeremy Parker Shortner. Dorothy Renee Coleman. Samuel Allen King. Chance Christopher Lee. Dade Allen Ray Bostick, summa cum laude. Alyssa Aaron Casillas Michael, cum laude. Alexia Faye Hernandez. Bradley Wayne Doman. Efrain Martinez Jr., magna cum laude. Tanner Allen Bachelor, cum laude. Sarah Grace Weideman. Kristen Hope Sefsik. Emily Quinn Pierce. Philip Kevin Orbe, magna cum laude. Brittany Leanne Kaysen. Karina Lizeth Marin. Honors degree program graduate, Emily Elizabeth Watson. Honors degree program graduate, Eric Andrew Tovar, magna cum laude. Idalia Karina Gonzalez. Nautica Ma Mariah Owens. Robert Frank Plan Blonsky Jr. Roberto Carlos Acevedo. Heath Maynard. Alec Cole Bailey. Devin Bishop Kilgore. Yeah. Honors degree program graduate. Joshua Severubius. Sorry, Covarubius. Cove Hunter Ray Dill. Toby Crockett Smith. Brett Marion Hart Jr. Taylor Ann Mercer. Honors degree program graduate, Brady Jared Hudson. Tanner Lloyd Fisher. Garrett Matthew Kamek. Crystal Dawn Groutman. Andre Seminario.
I would like to take a moment to thank Ms. Janice Horrock, Dr. Mo Mancazi, and Dr. Javier Garza. Would you three please stand and allow us to say thank you for reading the reading of these graduates' names as they walked across the stage today. Awesome job. Would all graduates please rise. There are two important traditions at our commencement ceremonies. At the university's official ring ceremony, we ask that you wear your ring with the T facing in until you graduate. For those graduates who wear a Tarleton class ring, you may now turn your rings with the T facing out or away from you so that the world will know that you are a proud Tarleton grad. So graduates, turn those rings. And finally, the tassels on the caps of undergraduates are worn on the right side until they receive their degrees. A time-honored tradition at graduation ceremonies involves the symbolic movement of your tassel from the right to the left side. Graduates, you may now move your tassel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I introduce you to the newest graduates of Tarleton State University. Congratulations, job well done, class of 2021. Graduates, it has been my great honor to present you with your degrees, and now I look forward to watching your involvement as active, engaged alumni. I encourage you to come back and visit us often, and never forget the gates of Tarleton are always open. On behalf of the entire Tarleton family, we wish happiness, peace, and prosperity along your life's journey. Godspeed, class of 2021 and may you forever bleed purple. Thank you. To close today's ceremony, I ask Jana Perkins to come forward to lead the singing of the color song, our university alma mater. I encourage the audience to sing along. Following the color song, we ask all guests to remain at your seats while the platform group and the students lead the recessional. Gentlemen, please remove your caps, and again I ask all who are able to please rise for the singing of the color song and the recessional.